Hare Krishna devotees, this is Aksar my humble obeisance and all glad to share Prabhupada. Welcome devotees to our morning Bhagavatam class. This morning we are fortunate to hear from His Holiness Chandra Mali Swami right before 2022, right before New Year. So we are very, very blessed and fortunate. And we are so happy that we can hear from Chandra Mali Swami and he will be speaking on Canto 1, Chapter 9, Verse 6 to 7. And we are getting into the this on the chapter on the passing of Bhishma Dev. And um, without further delay, we'll pass it on to Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to you, all glories to Prabhupada. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. I don't know what I'm going to do with this verse, but anyway, <laughs> since I have been elected, I got to come up with something. <laughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Srimad Bhagavatam 1967, Parvatan Narado Dhyamo, Bhagavan Bhadrayanam, Brihadaswo Bharadvaja, Shashio Renaka Sutaham, Vishista Indra Pramadas, Dutto Gritsa Mado Sitaham, Kaksivam Gautamo Trischa, Koksiko Sudar Sanaha. Hey, translation. Translation. All the great sages like Parvat, Muni, Narada, Yomya, Yas, the incarnation of God, Brihat, Daswa, Bardwaj, and Parasanama, and disciples, Vishishta, Indra, Pramada, Tritta, Grit, Samada, Asita, Kaksivan, Gautama, Atri, Kausika, and Sudarshana, were present. So now, hearing that Bhishma Dev is lying on the bed of arrows, Omagyanti Mirandasya Gina Jana Salakaya, Chaksun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurveen Maha, Rama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prastaya Bhutale, Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vrata Swami Tinamani Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharine. Here we say, Sunyavadi, Pastyatya de Satarine, Panchakalpa Turu, Bischa, Kripa Sindhu, Pe, Bacha, Putitanam, Bhavane, Bio, Vaishnave, Bio, Namaha, Namaha, Jaisi Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu, Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadahar, Shiva, Sri Gaur, Bhaktivinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hmm. So hearing that uh, Bhishma Dev is now lying on the bed of arrows on the battlefield, uh, Yudhisthir decides to come and visit along with many great sages, sage, saints, and even Sri Krishna himself all go to see Bhishma Dev in his departing moments. And so this particular verse is just part of a long list of personalities who came to see Grandfather Bhishma. Grandfather Bhishma had the uh, benediction that he could leave according to his own will. Because he had pleased his father, uh, yeah. Uh, his father's name, uh, King Shantanu. Shantanu was the father of Bhishma Dev. He had pleased his father so much that he arranged for his father to have a wife at, this, at the expense of him not having a wife 
to promise a particular fisherman who would not give his daughter in marriage to King Satanu unless his daughter and son would actually occupy the throne, which was meant for Bhishma Dev. So Bhishma Dev said, I will not occupy the throne, but then the fisherman said, well, you'll get married and your son will occupy the throne. He said, well, then I will not even get married. And so he was pleased and satisfied. So he gave his daughter, Satyavati, to King Shantanu, who was uh, happy. He wanted to marry her. He had been married to Ganga Devi before, the personification of the, of the uh, Ganges were river, she had come, and uh, she produced eight children. The eighth one was Bhishma Dev. All the other seven, and this is a very long and very interesting story, how uh, when uh, Shantanu met Ganga Devi, he proposed her a marriage. She said, I'll marry you only on one condition that you don't question anything I do. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a nice marriage vow, huh? <laughs> don't question the wife. But he agreed to that. And, uh, and then they got married. Well, she actually came to do a service. She's a heavenly goddess and she came to the earth planet. What happened was the Vasus, there's eight Vasus who were in the heavenly planets and they had committed an offense, a great, a great sage. So they were cursed to fall to the material world because of that. And uh, these Vasus were born one after another. And Ganga Devi, she had the service of bringing them back to the heavenly planets as fast as they could. Because anyone who lives in the heavenly planets doesn't want to live on this earth planet. It's like just, you know, it's like the ghetto. <laughs> Not the ghetto, it's worse than the ghetto. <laughs> so got to come to the head to for a heavenly heavenly body beings to live on the earth planet. Uh, unless they have a mission, uh, they don't want to live here. So um the, uh, they had apologized to the sage, and therefore he said that then you will come back immediately to your situation, but you must undergo this birth. So Ganga Devi, and she was deputed to help them come back. So she came also. And then uh, Shantanu, one after another, was having child, a children, and it was a boy. And every time, They'd have, she'd have a boy, she'd take the baby and throw it in the Ganges River. And that happened seven in a row. He's seeing his, his wife, who he is really attracted to. Now she's taking each one of his children and throwing it in the Ganges River. He can't understand what's going on. He's mortified, but he, she pro, he promised her that he would never question anything she does. She said, if you do, then I will immediately leave. So finally, after seven children were thrown in the Ganges, when they had the eighth son, she said, I, he, he couldn't take it anymore. So he said, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? She said, oh, okay, thank you very much. This one is yours, now I'm leaving. And that one was Bhishma Dev. Um, he was actually named Deva Vrata. He's the one that actually was the one that committed the offense against the sage. The, the, the other seven Vasus were all together. And he's the one that was more active. So he was forced to stay in the material world, at least on the, uh, on the realm of uh, Bulo, uh, the middle planetary systems. So uh, when uh, his father, Shantanu, wanted to marry this fisherman, she, uh, fisherman's daughter, um, he agreed not to accept the throne or even to get married so his son could have the throne, so his father could have that wife. And uh, his father was so pleased, and Shintana was a powerful king, he gave him a benediction that 
you will only die when you want to. You have the power to die at your own will. Grandfather Bishma was 170 years old at the time of the battle of Kurukshetra. And uh, now, after being uh, in battle with Krishna, Krishna, uh, Arjuna actually, by the help of Krishna, was able to uh, permeate Bhishma's body with so many arrows, but he wasn't dying. But the body was like a pincushion with arrows coming through his body and out the other side. And uh, he was laying there on a bed of arrows, elevated by the arrows himself. And he was just laying there. And now they all came to see him. You can see all of these great personalities. And this is only a small list. Krishna actually came also. Yudhisthira, the Pandavas, many and many of the soldiers that were still living and great sages came from all over the universe to see this great personality, Bhishma Dev. And uh, at that time, Bhishma Dev gave instructions to uh, Yudhisthira on how to manage the kingdom because Bhishma, uh, Yudhisthira was in lamentation that he had uh, taken the throne at the expense of the lives of so many great personalities. And he felt he was not worthy to, to accept the throne. He was feeling that because of me being placed on the throne, so many soldiers had to die in the battlefield and so many women no longer have husbands, brothers, or sons. And so he was just uh, lamenting. So by Krishna arranged for Yudhisthira to come and see uh, Bhishma Dev at that last moment, and therefore to, he knew Bhishma Dev would speak to Yudhisthira and, and pacify his mind and encourage him to accept the throne. And then he also gave him instructions on how to rule the kingdom. And those instructions took more than three weeks. After instructing uh, uh, Unisthir for three weeks on the uh, Makara Sankranti, which is in the, around the 14th of January, when, they, when the sun goes into the northern hemisphere, which is a very auspicious day, that's the same day Lord Chaitanya took sannyas, Makara Sankranti. On that particular day, he departed the world and you'll go into that particular pastime. It's one of the most deep and sweet and very heart rendering pastimes as you read this particular chapter. So don't miss any of these verses. This chapter is one of the most uh, powerful and spiritually powerful and very edifying chapter. And you get to, you get a great insight into grandfather Bhishma. Uh, who that great personality actually was. And here we see there's a whole list of personalities who came, Parvat Muni, Narada Muna, Narada Muni, Gyalmya, even Sri Vyasadeva himself. His son also uh, was also there. Um, it's not mentioned in the list, the Sukadeva Goswami, but he was also there. That was mentioned by the Acharyas in the commentary. Brihadwasa, Bharaj, Parasaram came with many thousands of disciples, Vishishta Muni, Indrakumada, Trita, Grihasmada, Asita, Kaksivan, Gautama Muni, one of the most powerful all sages. Atri Muni, also very powerful. Koksika and Sudarshan were also present. And you see here this whole particular purport. They give a little delineation or a little bit of a narration of each of these personalities. So it's not possible to read everything that's written in the purport describing these personalities. But we can, uh, what we'll do is we'll read a little bit of each as we go down the list. 
Parvad Muni is considered to be one of the oldest sages. He is always a constant companion of Narada Muni. We know the story when they both came to see Chitraketu. He is a spaceman. He can travel in the air without any vehicles. Narada Muni, he is, um, he's mentioned in the Purana. He is the transcendental spaceman. He travels throughout visit is he can visit the spiritual world he can visit the material world um he's always uh serving the lord and uh bringing people messages about the lord and enlightening people in spiritual knowledge he is considered the uh he's called deva rish he's the rishi of all the devas and he is uh, uh, very learned and very powerful and very transcendental personality in Narada Muni. Go down the list and see who's next. You can move the purport. Brenda, there he is. <laughs> Here we hear Dhyama, a great sage who practiced severe penances at Ukko Chaka Tirta, and was a, he was the royal priest of the Pandava kings. Uh, go down the list, keep going. He was there for the marriage ceremony of Draupadi. Vyasadev, he's also given the name Krishna. He's called Krishna Daipayana Vyas. Um, he's also known as Parasarya. Whoop, don't keep going. Okay, so you can stop there. Stop. Uh, Vyasadev, of course, he is the author of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. He actually put the Srimad Bhagavatam in literary form before Bhagavatam was only heard and uh, distributed through transcendental sound. Now that sound vibration took the form of transcendental literature. This was the work of uh, Vyasadeva. He is called Veda Vyas. When we uh, go to the temple, we sit on the Vyasa san to give class. That means anyone who is speaking on Bhagavatam is representing Srila Vyasadeva. Next one is Brihad, Brihad Dwashva. He's an ancient sage who used to meet Yudhisthira now and then. We have Bhardaraj. He's one of the, the seven Shapta Rishis, powerful Rishi, performs great penances and austerities. Parasaram, and his another name is Renuka Sutta. His mother's name was Renuka. Son of Maharaj Yamadragni, Parasaram is an incarnation of Sh uh, Kshatriya Dharma. He came to rid the world of all the Kshatriya kings who are not qualified to rule the world. And um, it says he killed 21 generations of Kshatriyas with his axe. He could spin his axe as fast as the mind. His, the speed of his axe was as fast as the mind. And therefore he very uh, easily killed 21 generations of these Kshatriya kings who were not qualified to rule. He also fought with Lord Ramachandra, but then he was defeated by Lord Ramachandra. That's also mentioned. Vashishta, the great celebrated sage among the Brahmanas, who was known as Brahmarshi Vashishtadev. He was the, he was also the, he was the main priest 
in the uh, court of Dasarat. He is a very old sage. He's been around for millions of years. Um, he uh, was there during the time of Lord Ramachandra, and he was the advisor to Dasarat as he ruled the kingdom of Ayodhya. He was also present on the battle of Kudushetra. He's also one of the seven rishis and a husband of Arundhati, the famous star. There's one star in the heavens called Arundhati. It's very really powerful. Indra Pamana just mentions his name here. The next one is Trita, one of the sons of Gautama. And uh, he explained the glories of Lord Shiva before Maharaj Yudhisthira. He, he, he had, his body resembles the body of Lord Indra. He was a great scholar of the Rig Vedya and he lived his entire life as a celibate. Asita. Asita is the Sita Devalarish. Powerful sage. There are 1,500,000 verses in the Mahabharata. He explained them to his father. Kosika Kaksivan is one of the sons of Gautama Muni, also, and one of the members of parliament of Maharaj Yudhisthira. Atrimuni, great sage mental son of Brahmana. He was born in the, the family of the great Prachetas. He had, he had two Kshatriya sons. King Artama was one of them. He is counted among the 21 Prajapatis. His wife's name was Anasuya. Anasuya is famous as the most chaste lady in all of existence. She is so chaste that she actually instructed Sita Devi, the wife of Lord Ramachandra, in the, in the teachings of how to become a chaste wife. <laughs> Anasuya is glorified in that sense. She is considered the best of all women because her chastity is superior to even Sita Devi, Lakshmi Devi, <laughs> and who else? Her, the story of Atri Muni and Anasuya is mentioned in the fourth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, Gosika, one of the permanent Rish members, uh, he, 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 him, he met Krishna immense. And you have Sardashan, Sardashan Sutra, which is actually the powerful weapon of Lord Krishna himself. He was personally present. Um, he actually took birth as a personality named Sudarshan. Krishna's personal weapon is also a person. That's not just a weapon. It is actually a manifestation of a personality. It says that Agni Dev, the fire god, presented the weapon of Lord to Lord Krishna. This Lord, the Lord used to carry the Sudarshan chakra. There is a story that uh, Kartavarya Arjun manifested himself on this in this world as Sudarshan, and he was so powerful that he he had thousands of arms just like the Sudarshan has many spokes to it. So Sudarshan, when he appeared, he was this powerful king named uh, uh, Kartavarya Arjun. And um, when Ravana was bathing in the river, uh, Kartavarya Arjun was in another place in the same river and he held the river back. And so uh, that disturbed Ravana. Ravana came to find out what happened. He saw Kartavarya of June. He attacked him. 
Kartaviri Arjun just picked up Ravana like he was just like a puppy dog and just flinged him away like he was nothing. But later on, uh, Kartaviri Arjun had killed actually the, uh, the uh, father of Parasaram, whose name was Jama Dagni. And that's a whole story that's mentioned in the ninth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Please read that. It's really interesting. And then the Parasaram fought with Kartaviri Arjun and chopped off all his arms. And so that's, a, that's a part of that whole story there. And he's mentioned in different, um, you see Sudarshan's a very powerful personality. He's Krishna's personal weapon and Krishna many times uses Sudarshan to accomplish his mission. So this is a little synopsis of all these, these great personalities who are present here. Um, they all came to see grandfather Bhishma Dev plus many thousands of more personalities too long to even mention. Some are not even known who came. There were so many people that came to see. And uh, uh, King Yudhisthira and Krishna were right there. And uh, Yud Krishna signaled to Bhishma Dev to speak to Yudhisthira and he did for 18 days, giving him the science of how to rule the kingdom. Bhishma Dev was expert in the art of Kshatriya Dharma, how to rule. Um, as Mother Anasuya has mentioned at the beginning, this is, we have two days left in the year 2021. We're getting ready for the new year. Um, it's somewhat traditional, somewhat we might even say fashionable, but it's somewhat uh, part of the culture of the human society to look at the new year in reflection to the old year and see what I did in the old year, what I could have did, what I wanted to do and I didn't do, what I accomplished, where what, and what direction should my life go now in this new year. So we all talk about making resolutions, promises on the day of the new year, which will be an inspiration for us to carry out certain desires, certain vows. But of course, as devotees, we always think in terms of devotional activities. So coming up, we can think what would be I, something that I could focus on to increase my Krishna consciousness? What quality do I need to work on in order to become more of a devotee? What activity can I perform that will be beneficial to serve the devotee in serving the mission of Srila Prabhupada? We can all think in that way. What are some of the things that I have accumulated in my life that I don't want. What are some of those habits, some of those attachments that are lingering? How, uh, I'm making a vow to remove them or one, at least one or more of them. These are all things we think about about the new year. But the problem is, and this is just the way the element of time works, is that sometimes after making these vows, we're so enthusiastic when we make them, that as time goes on, we get challenged in fulfilling those vows continuously. And we find ourselves falling back and not being able to carry it out. So we should also understand that uh, on the day of New Year, perform some extra penances and austerities. If you can go to a fire sacrifice on that day, go to it. And then in that fire sacrifice, while you're sitting there, make a promise and uh, that I will fulfill these vows because during a fire sacrifice, you can make a sankalpa. A sankalpa is 
Of course, the fire sacrifice is performed in, with a particular sankalpa. A sankalpa means a desired goal or desired result from the sacrifice. But we can also do that ourselves. We can also initiate a fire sacrifice and create our sankalpas and perform the sac fire sacrifice, chanting the mantras accordingly especially the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. You don't have to get into all of the details of mantra chanting. You can do the basic mantras along with the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, throw grains into the fire, and as you do that, pray to the Lord to help you fulfill your desires to become more Krishna conscious as you make these desires in a particular way. We should be very... Uh, enthusiastic to keep the, our desires and our promises, our resolutions, always in the spiritual realm and not in the material realm. Not like, uh, you know, I want to make more money. I want to get a better house. <laughs> if you want to do that, you can do that also. But it's not, it's not for a devotee. We don't really consider uh, material gain as being successful in our execution of Krishna consciousness. If there's any material gain to come, it'll come by way of the mercy of the Lord. We don't have to pray for these things. And so, um, yeah, the new year is a great opportunity for uh, looking back and looking forward at the same time. What do I, how can I improve the quality of my devotional life? And then you can think in different ways. One of, just to give a few examples, we can increase the amount of rounds that we chant each day. We can make a vow to read so much of Srila Prabhupada's books each day, in particular Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita. We can um, make a vow to come to the temple regularly, more often. Um, so many ways we can make a vow to support the temple more through our activities, through our donations. So many ways we can uh, look and see how we can progress in Krishna consciousness. And just to give a little indication how life works, uh, if we're not striving to go forward in life, we cannot stay where we are. We will be pushed down by the material energy because the material energy works in such a way as to push us away from Krishna. Therefore, we have to make an effort to go closer to Krishna. And these, uh, these vows, these resolutions, these promises, they are all meant to inspire a type of uh, commitment. Because just like when you go to college, you enter into the first year, you make a commitment, I'm going to finish four years, I'm going to get this degree. So you do everything you need to do in order to succeed. So using that as an example, when we enter into spiritual life, it's something that is always ongoing. It's never old. It's never stagnant. It's never, well, I've done this much this year, and maybe next year I'll do a little less, or maybe I'll just try to keep the same thing going. No, we should always be thinking, how can I increase the quality, the quantity of my service, and devotees like to really make resolutions and promises centered around developing characteristics in devotional service. How to become more tolerant, and become more humble, become more, uh, become less disturbed by happiness and distress by becoming uh, more peaceful, more learned in the scriptures. You know, we can always, these vows 
are also very essential in our Krishna consciousness, personal vows to develop these qualities that are going to make our Krishna consciousness more and more successful or more and more uh, joyful. So yeah, we have a great opportunity to take advantage of these traditions which come up. Um, we like to make these vows on holy days. Sometimes we make them, in, but this is a worldwide thing. People around the world are looking, what will I, you know, how will the next year be different than the year that I just uh, experienced? And just a little bit of a, this is nothing from the records, but something that I somehow or other have understood is that whatever you do on January 1st as the most important activity, that activity will carry you through the rest, especially when you, uh, uh, when the new year comes in, just like we like to have kirtan on January 1st. So that means that throughout the year we'll be more, more engaged in kirtan. Well, we like to be um, preaching on January 1st, and that way we'll be preaching more throughout the year. In other words, that January 1st is like the, uh, it's like the lighting of the first candle, which lights the rest of the candles. Okay, so um, we have two subjects today. The great sage, uh, sages are going to see this very uh, elevated Vaishnava, Vishma Dev, the grandfather of the Pandavas, the beloved of everyone. And we also can think about New Year's and how we can uh, increase our Krishna consciousness. Thank you so much, Marge, for addressing two topics, and especially the topic on um, making practical, you know, a New Year's resolution and following it through. Would like to ask devotees if there are any questions, any comments, you know, any, any clarification, please, uh, you can definitely jump right in or raise your hand and, um, or any questions that we have for Maharaj as we enter into the new year. And I have to say that, you know, we're so fortunate again to actually hear from Chandramali Swami right before the news and preparing our mindset as we enter. So any questions, devotees, please do jump right in. Yes, Mother Gita. Thank you, Mother. Now let's go to the gallery now. Yeah, so we can- uh... Yes, Maharaj. Rinda, can you switch to gallery? There we go. Sure. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada, all glories to you. Maharaj, thank you so much for a wonderful lecture. You talked about uh, spiritual resolutions. So we may make those resolutions on the 1st of January, but how to maintain them? Because, <clears throat> because as the time passes by, generally we forget those resolutions. So how to make sure that we are we stick to it well one of the things you can do so you don't forget is to write it down and another thing you can do is tell tell people who are close to you your different resolutions so they can also remind you <laughs> that you have made this a resolution um yeah and uh, think about what you're going to do beforehand and then seriously consider and then maybe even discuss it with those who are close to you and before you actually make the actual resolution because um, there are I mean resolutions are one thing we call us in Krishna consciousness, we make what he call vows. Vows are very sacred and very unbreakable. 
So we should call we call New Year's vow that we should make a vow. A promise sometimes is broken due to circumstances, but a vow can never be broken. It's considered to be uh, like a, a tight knot that can never be untied. So we, we should make we should make some vows and stick to it. And again, to remember means to uh, tell others about it so they help you remember and also to write it down. <laughs> write it down on a very, what you could do is write it and have it nicely done in calligraphy, some beautiful writings, and then have it framed and then put it up on your wall <laughs> in a place where you can see it. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you. Anasuya, can you ask everyone to uh, put their cameras on? Maharaj, you have more power than I do, Maharaj. Well, I'm giving that power to you now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maharaj. Devotees, can we please, please, please put our cameras on at least before the, the 2021 ends? Let's... Um, comply to Marge's request. It, it creates a lot of personalism for Maharaj to see us and we see him. Okay, one by one, I'm popping up, Maharaj. Everyone is so shy. Some of us are in our pajamas and <laughs> some of us are still washing our hair. <laughs> some then comb their hair. <laughs> some are cooking in the background. <laughs> one by one. Adibo Nami. Adibo Nandini. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. You know, my humble obeisances to you, Maharaj. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Adibo. Glories to Prabhupada. Sri Devi, would you like to ask a question, Prabhu? Uh, yes, please, Anasuya. Thank you. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Um, you did mention, and thank you for reminding us of the importance of first and foremost defining what we want to work on in the coming year and having resolutions. You said, Keep your desires in the spiritual realm. I have a question. Uh, what if we want to do something that is seemingly material, but will impact our spiritual life, like uh, something for health, like exercise, and uh, taking proper food, I mean, taking proper diet and sleeping on time. I mean, seemingly they are uh, like, you know, pertaining to the body, but if we have good health, then we can do some nice service, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't say that's material because material means something that is based on uh, furthering our material life. We want to keep the body as workable, as healthy as we can in mm. order to practice Krishna consciousness. Srila Prabhupada didn't see that as different he would always encourage devotees to take care of their health in fact he would ask them many times how is your health and he would also when he would sign his letters he would always end it by saying hope this meets you in the best of health your ever well wisher ac bhaktivedanta swami so Prabhupada really encouraged devotees to keep good health. Because that way you can do more service and you can do the service you're doing in a more enthusiastic way. So I wouldn't say that's material if it's connected with your Krishna consciousness, which it is. Thank you. Thank you very much for the clarification, Guru Maharaj. Good morning. Narani, I, do you do I have a question? Yes, go ahead. 
Sorry, Mataji, is anyone else going first? No, I think I heard your voice, so please go ahead. Okay. Perfect. So, Guru Maharaj, my question is, uh, you know, related to Mataji's question. Like, I love cleaning the house and decorating the house as well. And if I clean the house and it's really nicely clean, then I can chant more peacefully. If my house is all over the place and it's not clean, which includes obviously the temple as well, you know, I like to clean and clean and, you know, yeah. So do you think it's again material or spiritual? Because if I do clean, then I can peacefully sit and chant. If it's not clean, then I still keep thinking, oh, you know, that, that place is not clean in the house. Um, you have deities, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, the deities, it's their house, it's not your house. Yes, ma'am. You have to keep it clean. <laughs> the deity room is just part of the house. The, the deity owns the whole house. So you have to make sure you keep their house clean. Yes, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj, for answering so beautifully. That, you know, it will give me more motivation now to clean as well. Yeah, it's actually, they are the proprietors. If they're dwelling within the house, it's their temple. It's like a temple. It's no longer a home. A, yes, home, is a, place where you, a home is a place where you satisfy your senses. Uh, a temple is a place where you worship the Lord. So if the Lord is there and worship is going on, it's a temple. Yes, Maharaj. And I love organizing things, you know, like boxes and then making, like, you know, putting leaflets and making an index that like where, where is this thing in the house? So, yeah, but I think, as you said, I'm sure Krishna, Krishna likes that as well. Good. You can come and help me to do the same. <laughs> this is something that is so precious. Nandini, yeah. I think you have to clone yourself in all ISKCON temples because all ISKCON temples need devotees like that. I know I do. So if you can clone yourself, please contact us. Yeah. <laughs> The Bhakti Vedanta Manor I went the other day and I saw everybody kept, obviously, you know, when we pay obeisances, we go down and I had a steam mop. So I spoke to the Mataji who looks after cleaning and I said, do you mind if I come and steam mop the whole temple every day? And she said, be my guest. So I've been doing that now for the last three weeks. I go every morning, just steam mop like the whole temple and it's sparkling clean. I come home and I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, they say if you clean, clean the temple, you clean your heart. Yeah, that's true, Maharaj. Same thing. It's yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, there are nine main qualities of a Brahmin. There are twelve, twelve qualities of the Brahmin. Nine main ones, and out of the nine main ones, there are two that are outstanding. And one is, one is Satyam, and the other one is Socham. Satyam means truth. Socham means cleanliness. So Brahman is very clean. According to Vedic tradition, one should bathe at least twice a day, not just once, once in the morning and once again in, towards the uh, later part of the day. Uh, for sannyasi, sannyasis are supposed to bathe three times a day. That's mentioned in, in the Vedas. Of course, the weather conditions are, and one's health situation is a factor but one should consider you know one has to keep good clean clothes how you look and how everything that you are involved with looks is a way to preach to, to others if if the temple is clean that's preaching the temple is dirty it's that's saying we don't really care about so Prabhupada said when he was talking about cleanliness he said our temple temples must be revolutionary clean he didn't say clean he said revolutionary clean wow. and, he said, and he said if you can't and he talked about the devotees who live in he said if you don't know how to clean then go home and live with your mother she'll teach you So uh, he was very strict about cleanliness, super, super 
super cool. And that's that's Brahminical, and that is Krishna consciousness. Everything should be clean. Go go through all the stuff you have and see what you don't need. Get rid of, give it to, give it away to other people. Too much clutter means too much excess uh, dirt. If you have children, it's a problem, but you have to somehow or other manage their accumulations. But uh, not too much, you know, on a personal level. And keep things simple, keep things clean. And uh, yeah, what you're saying as far as, uh, you know, doing your own sadhana, you feel unhappy when things are not organized or clean. That is a good quality. It's a very good quality. Thank you, Maharaj. Always need your blessings, Maharaj. Well, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm pretty much a fanatic in that area, but I think I'm running second to you. you well, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> I do take inspiration from my mentor, Kirti Radhika Mataji. You know, I think her association has made such a big difference. Every time she comes, she will tell me, bring boxes, label things, put things in boxes. So I think that has really helped me. Yeah, I've, I've stayed at, there at, at Sundar Nanda's house many times, and it's, it's, it's spotless. It is, absolutely. And it's big, too. It's not a small house. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. So, Mara, yeah. I, that's... Mara, that, uh, dirtiness is in the mode of ignorance and cleanliness is in the mode of goodness. And then there's these, there are people who they let things go fall down to the mode of ignorance and they get dirty. And then in the mode of passion, they attack it and bring it up to the mode of goodness. But because they haven't reached the standard for living in the mode of goodness. Again, it, it, it drops down to the mode of ignorance. When they wake up again, they, they, they access the mode of passion, bring it back to the mode of goodness. But because they're not situated in goodness, it, they keep doing this, let, letting it go. So maintenance is governed by Lord Vishnu. So when you get something clean, Keep it clean. Don't allow it to go down again. The Lord Shiva is in charge of the mode of ignorance. Lord Brahma is in charge of the mode of passion. And Lord Vishnu is in charge of the mode of maintenance. To maintain is Krishna conscious. I remember Maharaj Bhaktatirtha Swami used to just say that if you haven't used something or worn something or anything for the past one year, trash it. <laughs> he would always say that. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I, I'm a little more liberal. I, I usually say two years, but anyway, one year is even better. <laughs> And, and and my mother, and it's interesting, Marge, that you actually said that, you know, whatever we do on January 1st is like lighting the candle for the rest of the year, because my mother, ever since we were kids, she would always tell us, whatever you do on January 1st, that's what you're going to end up doing the rest of the year. And I just yeah. think it was, yeah, she always, so she said, if you don't want to spend money, don't go shopping on January 1st. <laughs> she would always tell us that. If you don't mm -hmm. want to do whatever that you don't want to do don't do it on that day so she'll always make sure that we do something good you know like uh cleaning right. and we'll clean the house the rest of the year <laughs> or um, going to a kirtan <laughs> yes Marat. yes yes so it was nice to hear that you yeah. also said the same thing so at least it's not my mother's thing i was happy to hear that thank mm. you would you like to see an interesting verse Yes, Marge, I can have Brenda pull it up. Okay, it's about cleanliness. It's one of the verses. Uh, it's one of my favorite subjects. It's from the uh, 12th canto. 
have a have a kirtan have a kirtan sangha or a japa sangha invite all the devotees to come together and chant together on that day on the suya you get some ideas you know for the first in your temple there and have a program on that day and, and focus on something and invite everybody to come Yes, Mars. In fact, as you're speaking, I was thinking, okay, let me have my brain cells start working. <laughs> Good, yeah. Well, one thing, Mars, also I've noticed that, you know, and again, I'm so glad that you spoke about the journey because my mom always told me, and I didn't know if it was a, you know, a, a mother's tale or whatever you want to call it. But I, I know that when I started doing that, um, have it the good you know, with my children when they were young every one year and during the summer break we would do um spring cleaning their closets and i used to throw junk out every single year and um they used to fuss the girls would fuss oh you're throwing this mom you're throwing that mom blah 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 but now i think after years of them uh, me doing it for them now they do it it became a habit that yeah. it became a habit now, not now they got into the habit of every year when it's summer break they just go to the closet and there's and, and i see trash bags in the trash can so it does actually work yeah i have stuff to give away too i'm just while you're talking i'm thinking about what to get rid of here <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. I didn't mean to rub it in. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's good. Mark, well, I... when you were speaking about New Year's resolutions, sometimes, um, you know, like I think um, Mother Gita or Nandini were mentioning how sometimes we struggle to keep it. And even um, how important, Maharaj, is it to reveal our minds in confidence when we need help to embark on spiritual resolution? Well, that would be one of the reasons why to practice that principle, which is a principle that is mentioned in the scriptures to reveal the mind and confidence in order to get support for something spiritual, to help find out solutions to problems, to and create, create, increase relationships based on Krishna conscious subject matters. There's many reasons. And that's uh, the fourth verse in the Upadesha Amrita, Rupa Goswami's Nectar of Instructions. And so Prabhupada said that is the reason why we have established these temples to facilitate these exchanges between devotees. So it's important, yeah. There, you always have to have one person somewhere in your life that you can reveal your inner thoughts and feelings to. And it can't be your husband. <laughs> Got that, Marge. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> It has to be someone who is more neutral. <laughs> the husband and the, the husband to the wife and the wife to the husband is not neutral enough. Although they should have a night, they should have good communications. When it comes to certain things, you need that extra person who is really close to you to talk to. You call it, you call it your best friend, you say. Thank you, Maharaj. You have definitely added more spark to that answer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Any questions from devotees? Any uh, thoughts or anything that you would like to ask Maharaj before we start the 2022? I'm trying to look down the gallery here. You see that I don't miss anyone. Oh, yes, Mamina, go ahead. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Dandavat Pranam, please accept my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. My obeisances to you. Uh, 
thank you i just wanted to ask uh, uh, like you said that you should have a, a best friend to whom you can uh, uh, with whom you can share uh, whatever you are going through but uh, uh, what i feel is like uh, when i'm sitting to chant or when i'm praying uh, that is more fulfilling to me than disclosing my heart to somebody else. What is that situation? I I do not, I don't feel uh, like sharing with anybody else, but just when I'm chanting or when I'm praying, I am opening my heart. Well, that's good. But sometimes we need answers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Opening the heart is can be done to Krishna and should be done to Krishna. But um, when we need answers to certain things in our life, there's where a good friend, we're struggling with something. We, we're struggling with some decision or something. Uh, something, a person who knows you like that. It's always good to have a, good, a close friend like that to get the answers you need. Now, if you are completely on a transcendental platform and you can you can talk to Krishna, he can talk back to you, then that's fine, that's good. If you can hear everything he's saying, you ask him the questions and he's answering your questions. As Prabhupada said, you can talk to Krishna, but it's not a small thing, you have to be qualified. <laughs> Well, so just like a big man, he, you can't just talk to a, a very important person and go up and start talking to him. He, he has to agree to talk to you. <laughs> you can do that with Krishna. You can open up your heart. But when you want answers or you, you're, you're struggling with something on a personal level, there's where a good friend comes. Something. Sometimes you have a, a difficulty in life and you can't understand why it happened the way it happened or how to respond to, to, to the situation. And you, you talk to your close friend and you can explain things and they can give you advice. That's what close friends are for. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj, that is fine. But then... Uh... Now that I am uh, moving on my spiritual journey, they don't know this side of me. And uh, sometimes they make fun of it, like, what have you become? And what are you doing? Seriously, how can you do that? I'm well, like, okay, well, then, okay, okay. Well, then you need a Krishna conscious friend. That's what yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any other questions from devotees? Any uh, clarification? Any guidance? Any help that we need from Mars before we embark for 2022? Any thoughts? Probably we can do more kirtan, more cleaning, and more getting rid of clutter, Maharaj, on January 1st. <laughs> okay. Should we end with maybe some japa? Yes, Maharaj. I was about to say that. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, I know those of you who are in the United States, yesterday was Ekadasi. But today, here in Europe, today is Ekadasi. So, um, But we can chant anytime. Does, but the codice is always an inspiration to chant more. Okay. Nice. Jai Sri Krishna. Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasari Gaur Bhaktarinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Rama Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hey Rob, and you're all around and Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rob, and you're all around, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rob, and you're all around, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rob, and you're all around, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rob, and you're all around, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rob, and you're all around, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rob, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, 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 Hari
Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari 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 Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 
Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. You may continue chanting if you like. I have to uh, move on to the next thing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maharaj. I think here it's a working day for some 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 people. I think I know I am. <laughs> so, um, but if devotees would like to stay on and chant, please, you know, do raise your hand and we can continue this chanting. If you're yeah. working, we understand. But we yeah. want to thank you so much, Marsh, for giving us a wonderful class and especially giving us a wonderful message before New Year's Eve. Thank all the the. the the bodies for joining us. Vancha kapri biascha kripa sinda vevacha patita nam pavanebio vaishna vebio namo na mahashila prabhupad ki jai. His holiness chandramali swami ki jai. Okay. Wishing everybody a wonderful new year and we'll see you all next year. <laughs> Thank you. Same to you. Hare Krishna.